Alright, so this is going to be a video about the new sex ed curriculum from the Progressive Conservative Party of Ontario. Um, so first we're going to go over what's changed. Uh, so now they're focusing on mental health, um, concussions, the effects and risks of vaping, smoking, cannabis, uh, cyber safety, healthy body image, healthy relationships including consent. Now the biggest change between the conservative one and the previous liberal uh, sex ed curriculum is the inclusion of an exemption policy which basically says that if you don't want your kid to learn about a certain thing you just tell the school and take them out of that class okay so I'm gonna be reading from some notes that I have compiled from the individual pages for grade 1 to 8 uh, I will be posting the full notes as well as any corrections that I make after recording uh, in a pinned comment down below. So starting with grade one, uh, the children are going to be learning their body parts proper names, positive language when describing their bodies, uh, the senses and their function as well as good hygiene. So in grade two, they're going to be learning uh, that their bodies change as they grow. They're going to be learning the different stages of human development. They're going to be learning oral hygiene. They're going to learn personal safety indoors, outdoors, and online. Uh, they're also going to learn about prescription and non-prescription medicine. And in grade three, they're going to be learning healthy relationships and consent. Uh, they're going to learn how to respond to bullying. They're going to learn how differences make people unique which I think isn't going to achieve what they hope it will achieve. Just a point. Uh, so they're going to learn to show respect for others. Um, they're the, on, like the page says safety guideline for online and outside of class. I'm not sure what that means take it as you will. Uh, let's see. They're also going to be learning about, quote, real and fictional violence, unquote. Uh, so, again, take it for what you will. Uh, they're going to learn the impact of legal and illegal substance use. Um, and then another quote, they're going to be learning decision making, substance use, and behaviors. Now, in grade four, they're going to be learning physical changes and personal hygiene during puberty. Uh, they're going to learn safe use of technology. They're going to be learning to. They're going to learn about assessing risk in decision making. Um, there's going to be discussions about the effects of smoking and vaping. Now, in grade five, they're going to be learning about factors that affect a person's sense of self. Uh, they're going to be learning about the reproductive system. They're going to learn about uh, menstruation and sperm production. They're going to learn to describe emotional and interpersonal stresses related to puberty. They're going to learn uh, how to respond to online threats to personal safety. Uh, they're going to learn the short and long-term effects of alcohol use. They're going to learn, uh, and this is a quote, refusal skills. Um, the website doesn't exactly elaborate on that, so I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Uh, they're also going to learn, um, about deciding to use weed or alcohol. Alright, so in grade 6, they're going to be learning about the impacts of sexually explicit media. Uh, they're going to be learning the physical, emotional, and social changes from adolescence and how to make healthy relationships. They're going to be learning the importance of consent and showing respect for others. They're gonna learn how stereotypes affect how people feel about themselves. Uh, they're gonna learn the, quote, appropriate ways to respond to and challenge assumptions, stereotypes, and ho homophobia and racism, unquote. They're also gonna learn the benefits of inclusion, respect, and acceptance. Uh, they're gonna learn safe and positive social interaction, conflict management uh, in person and online. Not too sure what that means since it's kind of vague. 
They're also going to learn the effects of cannabis and drugs. So, in grade 7, they're going to be learning uh, consent and reasons to delay sex. They're going to be learning to identify and prevent STDs. They're going to be learning factors to consider in decisions about sexual health. They're going to be learning how puberty and adolescence affect relationships and sexual health. They're going to be learning the pros and cons of tech, online safety, and sexting. They're going to be learning the impact of bullying and harassment for sexual orientation. They're going to be learning the implications of substance use and abuse. They're going to be learning mental health and problematic substance use. Now, in grade 8, they're going to be learning what can affect someone's ability to make decisions about sex. They're going to be learning sexual health support. Uh, they're going to be learning gender identity, expression, and sexual orientation. They're going to be learning, quote, abstinence, contraception, and consent in order to make safe and healthy decisions about sexual activity. Uh, they're going to be learning uh, the pros and cons of sexual intimacy in relationships. They're going to be learning uh, dangerous assessment in person and, and online. They're going to be learning problematic substance use, signs, and impact. Alright, so uh, now I'm just going to bring up some concerns that I have with this uh, curriculum. The online safety bit, I'm concerned that either the authors of the curriculum don't know what it would require for online safety or that the teachers won't be able to properly teach about online safety because they themselves don't know. That's my concerns with the online safety bet. Now, the appropriate ways to respond to and challenge assumptions, stereotypes, homophobia, and racism. I have a feeling this is going to be more teaching kids what to think, not how to think, which I completely disagree with. Uh, now the quote, abstinence, contraception, and consent in order to make safe and healthy decisions about sexual activity. I'm concerned that this is going to be teaching abstinence as a form of contraception, which uh, has been demonstrated in the US to not work. That's my concern with that. Now, in defense of the discussions about sexually explicit media, um, I conducted a fairly informal study, with a very small sample size, that looked at the grades young men started using porn at. And the response, and the results were. Uh, four to five, 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 seven to eight, and nine. Like I said, very small. But, since three out of the five were before the discussions would have taken place, I would say that the discussions are age appropriate. Now, some people may disagree, and by all means disagree. Post your disagreement in the comments. I'm just saying this is what I found. 